Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. This very catchily named smartphone is the first OnePlus device we'll be unboxing, setting up, putting through its paces and doing a long-term review of. It's been a while since we've done a OnePlus uh, review. Uh, more accurately, it's been since the original OnePlus Nord. In the meantime, uh, OnePlus has grown as a business. Uh, its product portfolio has spread a little, let's put it that way. And uh, the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G is a device that caught my attention. And because it's in the same colour as our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash's Samsung A54, I thought it would be good to get one to review. Now, uh, this, as I said, is going to be the unboxing. Make sure you're subscribed to the Tech Travel Geeks and you have that notification bell turned on. Tomorrow I will be releasing the setup video and we'll be doing a series of videos about this device over the coming days and weeks before our long-term review. So thanks in advance for subscribing. First thing I'll do is take my Jerry Rig Everything knife, which now has a quite rusty blade on it. Maybe it's time to switch it around or actually change the blade, but we'll see. Once I've taken the two bits of, uh, of strip off, you can see the Nord branding here and the OnePlus uh, logo at the top left of the box. I'm going to pull this box open. There's nothing to indicate this, that this is a C3 Lite, apart from on the side of the box, the print has OnePlus Nord C3 Lite. So we put the box into the top one. We have a pouch here and the device. We'll focus on what's in the pouch at the top, this little cardboard box. So, oh, here we go. So we have a membership card. I did not know this was a thing, but there you go. The OnePlus Red Cable Club. Considering I've been buying devices since the OnePlus One, um, I should be already platinum or something like that. I'll need to register this. Do you need to register? Yes. So we'll do that. I'll go through with that. We also have a Nord. What does this say? This is just a card with a SIM ejector tool in it. This will be handy for our setup video. And it says congratulations on purchasing your new OnePlus Nord C3 Lite. Sitting in front of you is our latest fast and smooth blend of the best Nord Core features that deliver a truly larger than life smartphone experience. Blah blah blah, stay true the Nord team. Okay, that's interesting. So we've got a quick start guide, which I'm sure we'll never read. There's a safety guide. I will refrain from throwing this phone around or turning it into a bomb. And then a bit of cardboard. And inside that we have, uh, in this case, it looks like a jelly or TPU case for the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite. Uh, it's good to see that still some manufacturers are including cases. I was actually looking on Amazon and haven't found any relevant cases that I think is worth ordering at this moment in time for this device. It's probably because it's a brand new device and it's uh, very, very new. But stay tuned to the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. We will be doing accessories for this uh, device as well. Okay, next up, the device itself. It's in a nice little bit of plastic, and you can see that I went for the lime-colored one. We'll put that down and check it out in a moment. Another piece of card, nothing here. And then we have the charger. Now, this is a highlight of the device. It's a 67-watt SuperVOOC charger. Now, um, when OnePlus launched, uh, or more accurately in, with the third uh, smartphone they did, the OnePlus 3, uh, one of the features was called dash charging. And with this, we've gone all Oppo. We're using Oppo branding now. It's a 67 watt Super VOOC charger with the relevant cable, which is a red cable, the trademark uh, OnePlus cable. In this case, it's USB-A, such as the 67 watt charger that's included in the box, and USB Type-C at the other end. Okay then, so let's put the packaging and all the peripherals to the side. 
and let's focus on the device itself. Now I'm going to remove this, this is nice soft touch paper cover, it rips really easily. I'm going to take this off device. I'll also take the sticker on the back off. And first impressions are that this is an unapologetically plastic phone. Uh, it's not surprising given the price range of the device. This is a £299 phone. Uh, it has a plastic back, but it looks quite good. It's got nice reflections to it. You can see my my face in the camera, uh, in the reflection there and the camera. Um, the hardware is really nice to hold. And if we look at it in a bit more detail, we've got a few things to, to call out. So the camera setup is interesting. That main camera here is a 108 megapixel sensor. On paper, that looks amazing, but we'll need to put the phone through its paces to find out. And then in the module below, there seems to be a couple of sticker cameras, as, uh, as our friend Miriam calls them. Uh, there's a two megapixel macro camera and a two megapixel depth sensor. In my experience, they're pretty much useless. The only one worth using will be the main one. Noticeable is the absence of a uh, wide angle camera, but for the price and the sort of setup you get, that's not entirely unexpected. Okay, in terms of hardware, we can see there's a power button on the right, which also acts as a fingerprint scanner. I really do like that, uh, that combination. Under screen is slightly less accessible. It's important to have that in my view. On the left hand side, just as with other OnePlus devices, we have a volume rocker, so it's not on the same side as the power button. We have the SIM tray. Let's have a quick peek at that before we actually set up the phone. Actually, OnePlus have got their own ejector that we just took out of the box. It is a slightly longer pin. So you'll see we have the tray here, which in this case will take uh, two nano SIMs or one nano SIM and a micro SD card. So that's really good to see. Obviously the version we purchased is the only one available in the UK at the moment. In this case, uh, the storage is 128 gigabytes as it comes out of the box and it has eight gigabytes of RAM. That's the only version available in the UK at the moment. Uh, but I will be expanding this with a micro SD card and we'll also do a dedicated video on how to expand the OnePlus Nord CE3 5G with a micro SD card. Anyway, good to see that. At the top, just a little microphone hole. At the bottom, you can see we have a speaker output, USB Type-C port, microphone hole, and the all important, now a dying feature on most smartphones, even in this price category, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which here at Tech Travel Geeks, we do now call the Courage port. So good to see that's still there. Um, and in terms of screen, in this case, you have a 6.72 diagonal LCD panel. Let's just have a quick peek at that. And as it comes out of the box, it does have a screen protector applied. And in the top here, you have that selfie camera cutout that is a selfie camera which is a 16 megapixel sensor. Um, so okay let's have a quick look at how this is. OnePlus powered by Android, good to see that uh, branding still there, and the OnePlus Oxygen OS uh, that's running here. So this is Oxygen OS 13.1 which is running on Android 13. As you can see, the screen is pretty nice and clear for an LCD panel. Anyway, um, we'll do the proper setup in a moment. You can see that in terms of bezels, it's not bezel-less. There is a little bit of bezel at the top and a little bit at the bottom. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll need to see it in usability how that goes through. So for now, I will switch off the device and uh, maybe charge it a little before we get round to our uh, setup video. But for now, thank you for watching if you made it this far into the unboxing of the OnePlus Nord C3 5G. Uh, as I mentioned, we will be doing a setup video which will be published tomorrow. 
make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on so you're notified on when we release the, the follow-up video and all the other content we publish here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Here at Tech Travel Geeks, we cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better. And occasionally we'll also do videos about our own travels. So again, thanks for watching if you made it this far and goodbye from me.